Hey, hello there. In this video, we're gonna make this doll security alarm, which works like this. If someone tries to sneak into the house, you can see that the alarm will ring. If the door is closed, the alarm shuts up, and so forth. Let's go. First, let's see the components that we are going to need. We're gonna need a read sensor, a read switch, a buzzer, and of course, as you might have detected, an Arduino Uno. So, let's understand first what a read switch is and how it works. So, a read switch is a circuit is closed when a magnet is near the switch, less than 13 millimeters. When the magnet is far away from the switch, the, switch, the circuit is open. As you see on the diagram, here in read switch A, if there is no magnet, you can see that the circuit of the switch is open. So now in the scenario 2, you can see that as we bring closer a magnet, the circuit of the read switch closes itself. So we're going to use this to try to configure our door. Like how? So we need to place this read switch right here on the door and the magnet onto the other side of the door, on the door side that moves. So this means if we try to open the door, the magnet will go away and it will trigger the buzzer. So let's get now to the coding. But before we go to the coding, let's see how everything is connected. The read switch, as you see on the table, is connected to the ground and its digital pin is connected to the D0 on the Arduino. And again, the buzzer VCC is connected to the VCC, the ground to the ground, and the digital pin is connected into D2. Now let's get to the coding. You can see that I have my Arduino with the two beautiful functions that we usually see when you open the Arduino. Now the first thing that I need to do is to declare the read switch. I'm going to declare it as a, uh, as a constant. I'm going to say const int then call it read. Then as we said, I'm going to put it into D0 like that on the Arduino. And then I'm going to need another constant. Oops, another constant which is the buzzer, int buzzer, just like that, and then I'm going to put it into 2. So I'm going to need a variable, which is val, to hold me the values of the read switch. Now I'm going to say that for starting it's 0. Then I'll come here in this function called setup, where we set up everything. I'm going to say that, uh, I'm going to specify that this read switch is an input and this buzzer is an output because it gives sound. Now I'm going to say pin mode just like that. Then I'll put read just like that and say that it's input. Just like that, I'm going to go ahead and say pin mode. I'll take the buzzer. Sorry, buzzer. Then I'm going to say that it's an output, just like that. Don't forget to declare the serial monitor, I mean to start the serial monitor. Then I'm going to set the speed or the board rate to this value. Now I think we're done here. I'm going to go down here. Now we need to get the values from this read switch. So we need first to get this value into the variable that we named val. So I'm going to say val equals digital read. Yeah, I forgot i digital read, just like that. And then I'm going to say it's going to read the value from read, just like that. Now I'm going to judge. I'm gonna judge. Let me just now I'm gonna judge and say if 
its condition. I'm going to say if var goes high, then we need to see in the serial monitor that the door is closed. Serial.print. Now we need to see that the door is closed. Let's say door is closed. And I'm going to say else. That's now the case where var is low. I'm going to say serial.print. New print line to put things down. Oops, might have zoomed a lot. Print line. And then here I'm going to say that the door is open. Now let's first test. This is our first testing. So I need to first check if I get the Arduino connected in the port. And the only thing I need to do now is to upload. So upload. To make sure that nothing goes wrong, I'm going to push away this one and then upload. So now, I mean, this the circuit is closed, I mean open, which means I can have some, you know, values returning. So I'm going to put it down like that and go to the serial monitor right here and see what it gives me. Now it's saying that the door is open. When I do like this, it's closed. Oh, okay, now we need to switch this back. So I need to take these, put it right here, and take these and put it right here, because that's what my sensor is telling me. Then, now let's make something interesting. Let's add the buzzer so that when I open the door, when I open the door, it rings, and when I close it, it shuts up. So to do it, let's do it in um, a nice way. Let's use a function. So let's declare a function as void because it returns no value. I'm going to say void and I call it alarm. Open and close. Then I'm going to go here and say, so we need the buzzer to ring like tick, 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 tick. So I need to, you, we need to use a loop for that. So I'm going to say for, a for loop. Then inside the for loop, I'm going to declare a variable e, just like that, starting from zero. And then I'm going to say if uh, e less than or less than maybe five, then we're going to say e plus plus. So here, what I'm going to do is to turn on our buzzer, turn it on and off, digital, right. I'm going to go ahead and say this buzzer right here. Uh, is that right? I'm going to go set buzzer high. Set it high. Okay. Now I'm going to delay a little. Let's just delay, I don't know, microseconds, 15. And then down here, we need to turn it. So because we need the buzzer to be sounding like tick, 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 tick. Yeah. So it's in a full loop. And now we need to shut it down a little to make the effect digital right now i'm gonna say buzzer again now i'll put it low sorry here it's buzzer but yeah just like that now i'll put it low and then wait a little just like above now what i need to do right here I need to come above now and call the alarm when the door is open. It's right there. Now I'm going to say alarm. I'm going to call the function alarm. Okay? Just like that. Now there nothing happens. So let's now cross our hands and upload to see if it does what we asked it to do. I'm going to hit upload, but for the sake of this, I'm going to lift up a little. To avoid the circuit to be closed when we are uploading. Boom. Now it works. So let's go to the serial monitor. It's saying that the door is closed. If I open the door, it rings. If I close the door, it starts, you know. When I close the door, it shuts up. When I open the door, yeah. So now this can be very useful because if someone tries to sneak into your house, you, you always hear that and boom.
that's right so maybe in the next tutorial we can try to add a switch so that it it only rings when you want it to ring or something so now until next time cool and stay cool and peace